Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Tomorrow I'm going to finally see The Force Awakens. It's going to be released the 16th here in France. Um, at first it wasn't even going to be released here like until January. Well, the English version, you know, it's going to be in French everywhere. But you don't watch a movie like this in French. You don't watch any movie not in the language it is supposed to be. But uh, I digress. So yeah, tomorrow the new movie comes out and we're just in time right now with the newest video here for the miniature helmet collection for those of you that enjoy this series. I know some of you do and I like that, you know, because it's very random from my other shit, but come on, it's Star Wars and these helmets, they're, they're fucking cool, they really are. I will put a playlist in the description of this video so that you know uh, for some of you who might have missed the previous videos who like to see them they all nicely grouped together in that playlist uh, or if anybody just likes to rewatch some of the videos here and there so we've got nine incredible new helmets again in this series very cool helmets two or three that are a bit yeah but there's like uh, several helmets that are really fucking cool in this series so sit back grab yourself some tea or coffee and enjoy So first up, we have a not particularly interesting one, to me at least, the Rebel Trooper. I, the main thing about this, this reminds me of the other helmet too, it's like the space ball kind of thing, but it like, it's supposed to look, it looks really cool and futuristic, you know? Until you discover that this is not really like the visor per se and that there's like this little chin pad So when they wear it without the visor down or anything, you know, it just it, <laughs> it always looks a bit stupid to me this one But we have some nice details on it, the actual metal antenna here It's nicely steel but Besides that this one Just very slick design always Nothing too special. The Rebel Trooper. Then we have one that I do really like a lot. The Naboo Pilot. The original, the, I mean the original, the first, second and third movie are so underrated in my opinion. They're, they're not as bad as people make them out to be. Especially the first and the third movie are pretty damn good. I really like this helmet. Like, there's a lot of nice textured details. Not just painted on. You have a nice worn texture here on top. Incredibly awesome visor. Awesome detail on this helmet. A lot of textures and the rebel symbol over there. There. Very cool. This is a very cool helmet. I really love all the details on here, like the ear pads and the mouthpiece and everything here. And the boot pilot. Very cool helmet. Indeed. Then we're gonna have two of the least entrings least interesting ones from this set. We have the Clone Trooper Phase 1. I always feel these look a bit like ducks. I don't know. I always think it's a very weird design. These it makes the heads look so long because of the little snout. Nice textures again. I really like the details here like in the back, the roster there. It's not just painted on, it's really like textured and everything. Very cool helmet. But like I said, it just doesn't stand out that much. And it always looks a bit weird. But still even in there, there's like the little textured roll. So you can, the camera is hardly gonna pick this up and try and zoom it in. There. 
There you go, you see. It's so small, but still the detail on it is quite nice. Even though it is by far one of my favorite helmets. Next up. The Rebel Commando helmet. It does have some nice details. Like the chin thingy and for the neck and the uh, warm textures on here. The paint design is pretty cool. Like the details in here. Like the details on it are quite nice. Just kinda, it's just a kind of boring helmet. I also really like how they made like, this fabric effect texture by making everything here look very uneven and not sy symmetrical. It's very cool. So the details on the back. But yeah, it wouldn't be Star Wars without the Rebel Commando helmet, right? Rebel Commando. Now we're gonna go up to two of the coolest ones from this set. First off, we have the insanely awesome Magna Guard. I fucking love it that they're adding more droids in there. You know, you, we had C3PO and uh, General Grievous. Now the Magna Guard. Once again, from the very, very underrated first three movies. I love the details on this, like the red eyes, all the textures, you can hardly see it. See like there's the, the paint design textures on there, the textures on the mouthpiece and everything, well mouthpiece. The fabric effect, like it's a different um, uh, type of material used than for the rest here. Got like the details on the side. Not much on the back of course, we have like a nice imitation in the top there. I fucking love this helmet always. Very cool droid. Magna Guard. I love this helmet, it looks like a beast. The Tuscan Raider. One thing that is sad about this one, it is so big, this helmet actually could have benefited from one of those bigger cases I've shown before because as you can see there are some scratches here on the inside now it's easily replaceable it doesn't really matter but because of the extensions because they go so high up this helmet is fucking awesome the Tuscan Raider like the textures here once again it's a whole different material it actually feels like it's fabric it's very um soft plastic I guess you could say compared to the hard plastic used for the other stuff here Inside there's so many paint details and different textures on here. It is so nicely done. All around. The nice details there on top. The rip and everything. Very, very cool fucking helmet. Like I said, it looks like it's a beast. Love that they included this one in the set. There's nice details that you can pick it up, like see the holes underneath the eyes, for example. Let me see if I can pick it up nicer. There you go. This one is so cool. Very cool set. These nine helmets. Oh, this one, it's not super cool, but I still like it a lot. It's the Y-Wing Pilot helmet. Because unlike the Rebel one, this one is still unique. It has a very weird, fat design. It's such a big, clunky helmet, and it doesn't need to be. It's a real, real astronaut's helmet, in my opinion. Very cool with the visor again. This one has a lot of very cool details. You have like the discoloration on top and the markings, the textures there. Got like the half ripped off. This is supposed to be like this, the half ripped off. Logo, got the awesome details here on the side everywhere. I really, really like this helmet. It might not be as spectacular as the Tuscan Raider, but I really love this one. See all the textures here. 
little screws, even like your little screws and everything. Y wing pilot. Very nice surprise this one. One that once again in design is not very original the shape, but it looks so good. Commander Gree. This helmet just is so fucking spacey. It sounds so weird, but I love the colors used on this one. The, the super shiny green really comes nicely out as it should. Like the awesome camouflage like effects with the damage and everything. The mouthpiece details again. Very cool. I love the silver used for this. Awesome details on the side, and I really love the colors and everything on this one. Back, obviously, not that different from the face one. I mean, this one is just so pretty to look at. It's a pretty fucking helmet. It's just beautiful, just because of the, the shiny green visor and the green and the yellow and the beautiful silver here. It really stands out when you put it next to some of the trooper helmets, for example. Very, very cool. Can I agree? I liked it. This was a very nice surprise somehow. We got another big box. Another big box. And I actually know in the next video in a few months, in the next set of helmets, there's going to be another big box. So there's going to be at least three already. So the Royal Guard is not alone anymore. Anyway, here we have the Coruscant. Emergency crew. This is such a beautiful fucking helmet. It just screams epic. I love the details on the tubes here. See that you you can actually move these around. You know, it's not hard plastic. This is the same kind of rubbery as the Tuscan Raider, for example. Nice details here on the textures. There you go. Okay, let's go back a bit. One thing I I think it's a bit sad is that this doesn't move down the top part here because because it's obviously that it should and it's very weird that they didn't just add a little thing here that wouldn't have cost them anything considering some of the other visors actually move up and down anyway awesome little detail here on the side as well Wait, let me flip it there you go It's a pretty symmetrical helmet, see nice um, damage here, let me twist it again, nice damage here, very cool, and there you go, the Coruscant Emergency Crew Helmet, so you guys can see there's a lot of spectacular helmets all around, between these 60 helmets, I hope you guys enjoyed this latest video the update on the Star Wars miniature helmet collection because some very very cool helmets this time around and it shows you the, the intense diversity of this collection how easy it's going to be for them to reach 60 because we're basically already halfway there we're already halfway there like I said in the beginning there's a playlist you guys can follow in the description which will have all the Star Wars miniature collection helmet videos in a row in case you've missed one or two or you feel like re-watching them in case you like doing that kind of stuff I wanna thank you guys for watching and stay real